Nah, cause we should be more safe. Like people shouldn't just be able to be able to like walk up with like a gun or nothing, like and just start shooting. They like, just walk especially, like, that, especially that big of a gun to be right. up in school and shit. Like right. it, with all them students and general, like nah, they don't deserve all that. It's important to everyone that is affected yeah, by the parkour right. shooting that we stick together and we're out here to stick together and it's happening all over the country to stick together. Um, it's important that we see change and not just hear more crap from our politicians that we don't have a voice because we are the future of this country. We have a voice and we're gonna vote and we need to because change needs to happen and if it doesn't happen then kids are just gonna keep dying and people in inner cities are just gonna keep dying due to gun violence and people are just gonna keep dying and I'm not okay with it and I know that everyone here is not okay with it. Well if it doesn't like make a change at least you're being out here to like at least recognize that that happens. There are a lot of different messages that came out here and I asked for a certain level of maturity from our students and I've seen that today. There's different kinds of messages, different kinds of solutions. But I think that there's a couple things that do unify us. Number one, we would like to see an, uh, an end to school violence. And number two, we can have a dialogue with somebody, even somebody that we might disagree with, and still walk in and say, we're going to be classmates. And part of real change is how we treat each other. It's kind of warm up a little bit. <laughs> Hang up your coats and sign. I thought they did a great job. I, I really had no idea whether we were going to be looking at 30 or 300 students. And so, um, you know, so the students that we had, for most of the kids that came out, you know, they braved the cold uh, because they were passionate about uh, either memorializing the victims, which I think everybody was out here for, um, but then some of them had a message that they wanted to send, and I think a lot of them are going to continue to be active uh, in their message beyond today.